Whoa, chill. That's a nice horse you got. You think, uh... I'm warning you. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, you need a... Hey, you need a... God damn it. I just wanted to compliment you. Oh my god, dude. Relax. Trust me, is the very best thing about science. It's pouring rain. You should get inside, ma'am. Get inside. I said get the fuck inside. After we save that um nice woman. We um we have a job to do. We're passing through Valentine and we're already caught. Let's go get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. The dogs are back in town. Run! Ow! God damn it! Alright, we're here. We got a shit ton of pelts. And, well, yeah. You don't want to die for Hernandez, do you? Take me to him. I got some questions to ask. Ah, okay. If it's just questions, he's up in the cabin. All right, Watch buddy. People. Stranger in the camp. He ain't going to be here long. I'm watching you go real easy. You better, you better watch your tone there, mister. Better watch your tone. Flacco Hernandez. I don't want any trouble. I'm here to speak with you. About boy Callaway. I'm unarmed. <laughs> well, King Gallagher. I just want to talk. My boy Callaway. Sure. Here's your message. Okay, buddy. Wabow. Didn't need to take it that far, but it's fine. Wow. Got a new pistol, baby. And what else do we have? Oh, we gotta take a picture of him. Okay. That's the last one. Wait, no, we have one more. I just wanna pluck the chickens! Out. I was in the snow. You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I ain't running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like you already. You're fuck you're you're, oh, you're pretty cool. On. <laughs> Stop just there. Here goes your contract. Woo doggy! <laughs> you smell like bounty hunters! I just killed the horse! Sons of bitches are gonna get it now! Horse killing sons of bitches! I want that horse back! Scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? 
Run in with Jim Boy Calloway. Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, the man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, cool. what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Perfect. Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. Bye, Bell. <laughs> what a fucking badass, dude. What the fuck? It's raining again? Damn it! Why is it raining all the time? You okay, sir? Oh my god. Oh my god! No! I'll help you, bro. I got you, home slice. Don't worry about it. Please. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Oh my god, he's so hurt. Okay. I got you. We're taking you to the doctor right away. Hold it together, man, alright? We're almost there. Just chillax. Relax. Just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. I got you. Don't worry about it. Why are you going so slow, Arthur? Right here. Let me sit him down in this chair. All right, here we go. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. Oh, I got twelve dollars. Dude, I got twelve dollars. Awesome, dude. What do you think you're doing? Oh my god! What happened? No! They're both dead! I just checked their pulse! They're both dead. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Horsey! We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. It was just 15 bucks, dude. Chill. <laughs> we just killed two people. We have to, we have 15 bucks on our head. What is that? What, what's my, what's, what's my destiny? Do you want to hear your fortune, sir? Um, can I, is that an option? Sure, two dollars is... There you go. This is now the time of machines, the time of things, the time of man came and went as all things pass, as all things pass, my friend. Uh, thank you. What about me? Travel safe. Okay, well, all right. You're. C I mean, I didn't really get anything out of that, but that's fine. Morgan, you got any hair pomade? Done, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Uh, hair pomade. Hold on. Fuck. Excuse me. You know, <coughs> hair pomade. No. Well, if you happen to find some. Sure, I'll buy you some hair pomade. All right, well, I'll, I'll get. Uh, here you go. Here's that uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. 
Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. Dutch. There you How are. You doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. Come on. Hey, it's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of things. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this prick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Bessie? Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatched. <sighs> more ideas? More? Not again. Damn it. Both of you. He's got more ideas. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we, can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I, shit! I, the Anderson boys, I can't have more scandal. Well, allow us to help. Uh-oh. Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Arch That's what I signed mm. up for. Come on, big guy. Okay. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Hey, look, Archibald, it's your mom. <laughs> it's your mom right over there. <laughs> Mother, oh, <laughs> oh shit! I just killed him. 
It doesn't matter. It was it was a horse that did it. I didn't do it. All right, so we gotta get beside the train. Right? No. Chill the fuck out, dude. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandma. You cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Oh God damn. They ain't running nowhere, Arthur. They're not running nowhere. Woo, doggy. Oh, that was sick. Get the hell away from You hold it right there. Dee 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 dee. This is an Assassin's Creed 3. I ain't doing parkour. Come here. Oh shit. No, I'm trying. I'm trying my ass off, dude. And it's not working. It isn't working at all. Oh, I'll, sed I'll subdue him. Jesus, Arthur, you got your ass kicked. Holy well, shit. Okay. Damn, holy shit. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Unlucky. Alright, pick him up. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. Fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. Shut you up. I did all the work. Oh shit, Arthur, put down your, your gun. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as oh, I can Oh, we cannot remember. use weapons in here. Sounds like quite Damn. The place you got here. Whoa. Sorry, sir. I'm trying to study that horse. Welcome to Rhodes. Whatever. We can't look at that horse there right on now. On your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Okay, I get it. What more do you need? Mm. Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's okay. my friend. We're stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for <sighs> me? I swear to God, that was the longest goddamn fucking carry horse ride I have ever had. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, 
I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where do you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <sighs> okay. Okay. So is that it? Plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around. I'm playing for an hour and thirty minutes, so that's yeah, hopefully that's the last mission. Our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Fuck. Oh, why not? Fine. Great. Hosea, Just because of, it's for the content, all right, about. guys, for the content. I like this place. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> how many hours? It's our. Holy shit! Oh, this is gonna be an hour and forty-five minutes. This is the longest Red Dead Redemption video I have ever done. Oh shit, chill, chill. My game's freaking the fuck out. All right, I'm following you guys. Hey friend. So how hey, far sir. is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney Honestly, everyone for something. But fishing is like is fun. We are now ingratiated with it's the just relaxing to fish, but there's always that one moment when you actually around. catch something. That is fucking exhilarating. Where is this spot, Jose? It's like, oh fuck yeah, I finally got something. Farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. 
I said he must have you confused with someone else. That's funny. That's really funny. You know, you're just an asshole, dude. You're just a I'm sorry. Very funny. I love Hosea. I would never. I I should have never said that to him. So you're going back to see that sheriff, Greg? Yeah. I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I love the water. Like <laughs> this fucking game is so beautiful, dude. I've been playing it ever since it came out, which is five years ago. I yes. think we confirmed that yep. on the first video of this. And it still stands as a good game. I mean, it's only been five years, so of course it's going to stand as a good game. But, like, just the way it looks. It's just so beautiful. Ready, boys? So I think I'm just going to try to catch three All fish. Right. And then after that, this we're going like to get the fuck okay. home. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. Or to the camp. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. Dude, I swear to You're fucking too God. Quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on. I have a mouth, dude. You fucking Get asshole. Deep. Get us a bit deeper. Jose keeps insulting me, dude. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, wrong way. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake look. Boy, that'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Uh, 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 uh. Got a nibble there, Arthur. You hooked him. Got him. Come on, give me the give me the bird. I want the bird. Okay, that was a bite. There, hooked him. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. look at this beauty. It's there a fucking well fish. Done, Keeping it. Bigger than that. Father told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounds. What are you doing? Yet. Do this. There <laughs> we go, like buddy. See that. You got it. Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week... Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I feel That's attacked right market. now. I feel really attacked. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time, but second day, fish. We were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head, then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, Well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for thirty years. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Swim to shore. You got a bite there, Arthur. You got to reel him in now, Arthur. 
Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. Oh. trying to get back that way. And that is the third one. had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Could be. change. That's just how life goes. Exactly. All right, I'm done here. can we call it a day, fellas? Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. We did All a right. good job, fellas. A did a here. real good job. Pearson will be happy. Can we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um. All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the tables are done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the tables are done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't wait, wait till the taters, taters were done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Wait, that's kind of fucked up. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Make it is a bully boy come with me on the Oh, round and 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 round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up, ground up. Enough! We did a good job, fellas, catching all them fishies. Now we get to sell them right. to Pearson, and he's going to give us a hell of a lot of money for it. I think. Or, uh, no, he's going to give us food, not well, money, I mean, food. We are going to be okay. Notice I how know. he said I? Well, of course. I always know. No, of course. That's Whenever fine. I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. <laughs> and we just, we said we're borrowing it, but we now, stole the boat. Anyway, I hope so. And Arthur has a gun. All right, guys, that is it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed. I don't really have any updates, um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a good one. Love you. Bye bye.